guys. Guess where I am? Look at this. I'm in a mouthy. Like, wow. Is our rooftop spa as well? And then that's the beach. There's a little like stairs down, and there's like a beach club. This is our cute little balcony. Oh my god, I can't even. It's so insane. Like, this is our place. Came in from stairs up there, and then we can go down there. And then we've got, it's like much more homey. Like we've got like a full kitchen and coffee. This is our bathroom. It's huge, we've got like two mirror things. And the girls' room's in there, their view is beautiful. This is me and Soph's room. Honestly, I'm so happy to be here. We had the most fucked travel day yesterday. Like, I can't even explain. Might sit down for a sec. We had the most fucked travel day. So, we had to go from... We got a... From Miller's. Oh, my God, there's a bee. <laughs> I'm literally about to get stung by a bee. gonna stay in here we had the most um is it still there oh my god guys i nearly got stung by me um yeah we had the most crazy travel day yesterday we had to go from Milos to amalfi in one day and that's not easy so we went from we got a three hour ferry three and a half hour ferry from Milos to athens and then we had an Sorry, if you can hear that. Sorry. And then we had an hour car ride to, from the port to the airport to get our flight to Rome. And we had an hour till our flight and the car drive was an hour. So we floored it and then we got in there and we had to literally, I don't know why, we were like starving so we like got food. We didn't have time to do that. And we absolutely sprinted through Athens airport with our luggage, like honestly, because we had to go from the domestic to the international. And they were calling our name over the speakers and like, it was like the, the um, thing was closing, like our gate was closing. And we got there, they were like, Rome, Rome, four girls. And I was like, yes, that's us. And we got on the flight sweating, like literally sweating. And then, um, yeah, we got off the flight. It was a two and a half hour flight. And then we got a five hour car ride to Amalfi from Rome. I mean, grateful, like this is beautiful. It could be the worst place to have a car ride, but it was such a big travel day. And it was like a 25 hour day because we like went back an hour when we came to Rome, to Italy. But yeah, anyway, very happy to be here. So happy. And um, this is our home for the week. It's much more homey. Like we're gonna like really like, we're gonna like um, go do groceries and like have it more as a base and then go out in the day and come back. and. Yeah, we're going to go into a mappy town right now, explore, get some groceries for the house and then I think we're going to go out for a nice dinner and potentially go out tonight because we we had a few rest days in Miller so we're ready to go. But yeah, I'll take you guys along. Guys, look at this. We're walking down to the town. This is like the most incredible thing I've ever seen and look at that little castle. It's like a restaurant. We'll be going there. It's so pretty. Holy shit, like it actually just keeps getting prettier. This is like a five minute walk from our place. I'll put what the town's called on here, but it's honestly insane. These little things feel like a postcard. Like, wow. So beautiful.
taste test. Good. So good. This from here. Is it called a granita? Yeah. It tastes amazing. Me also. Been swimming because it is so hot in Italy. Like insane. And the sand is so hot and rocky. But anyway. Right, cool. This is our view. Like, I mean, it's pretty nice. <laughs> We're gonna head back soon and do some groceries. And maybe have a bit of a rest before we go out later. We wanna go to Positano for the night, but we have a mission getting there. We're trying to organize. So, So we made some friends, some Aussie friends. <laughs> <laughs> you might see them in the vlog at some point. Their names are Jay and Cooper. Yeah. Shout out Jay and Cooper if you're watching this. <laughs> We're back from the beach. We're showered. It was a long fucking walk. We just walked up that over it's there. The yeah. <laughs> look at so you look like a vibe. We're having some Aperols. Wait, this is a fucking vibe. Um, we ran out of cool cups, so just ignore this. <laughs> and we're gonna watch. Oh, that's the police. They're coming to get us. <laughs> They're coming to get us. And um, we got some groceries. We're gonna make like sandwiches and stuff. Have some apparels. Have a bit of a party. We've got some friends coming over. And we might go out. We might not. We don't know yet. But. This is the vibes, like... Can that? It's really ruining the... <laughs> so happy to be here. I accidentally ate gluten before, so I'm waiting for the, the effects. Vision, the girls are getting a photo out here. Wait, this is a vibe. Look what the girls have made. Platter with some bread, some pesto. Oh, there's a wasp that keeps getting us. Some olives, sun dried tomatoes, tomatoes, shooter and stuff, aperols. This is insane. We went for a run this morning which was a lot in this heat I made breakfast isn't that look so delicious avo on gluten free toast some tomatoes, zucchini, sun dried tomato it's very Italian um, I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to go go for a swim, go in the sun and yeah the girls just got back too so this is our place and then this is our rooftop like we have a little hot tub jacuzzi that goes up at night an outdoor shower this is where I'm perched, like Surrey. Insane, got my book, my hydrolite, my kiwi fruit, my hat. And this is the view. So pretty. Like, stunning. There's our little balcony. Hello. I haven't vlogged for a while. We've had a bit of a hectic day, or like, we haven't done much, but... Very busy day. <laughs> <laughs> Huge day. Done a lot. Um, we haven't done much, but we have had a few issues. Our Wi-Fi isn't working, so we've had like people in and out of here trying to fix it for us. But um, no luck, really. It's kind of like drops in and out, which is fine if we had reception, but we don't have reception where we are, so we struggle when there's no Wi-Fi either, and we can't like look up how to do anything. We're obviously in a foreign country, so. Anyway, it's fine. We're gonna go out to dinner in the local town tonight and then tomorrow I think we're doing Capri for the day, which is like an island and you get like a ferry over there. And like, they have all like the really nice shops and stuff. So we might go over there, go for a nice lunch, a shop, and then come back here. But yeah, we're going to go now. My dress is from, this is like, it's so, it's so cute. It's from Sunday's a label. I've had it for ages and it's such a good staple. 
like I don't really wear dresses but I've, I wear this one a lot because you can like re-wear it you can also ruch it down and it goes like a midi you can get a fit check from the girls so yes, okay go talk us wait you're gorgeous oh, thank you got Jacqueline's top and the yeah, skirt love it stunning she looks gorgeous wear your outfits from please you're gorgeous thanks it's from Meshki <laughs> quite random but yeah. Em has it too and I love it. So We're into it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, what have we got? My top is from I Am Muriel's and this is from Abby's wardrobe. It's from Princess Polly. It's a sleigh. And this bag is from Gucci. <laughs> She's a Gucci <laughs> girl. <laughs> okay. Bottoms are LA. Sample. Yeah! <laughs> We're sitting down at this huge restaurant. We've got Aperol's. It's been a stressful day. And the guys here, um, the waiters here are so beautiful. I'm getting a gluten-free pasta. They're so accommodating. And look at this. The got girls the got some bread. And I got some gluten-free bread. It's very, I love it here. It's very traditional. It's gorgeous. But yes, this is much needed. I literally got coffee on my skirt. I want these shoes, they don't have my size, but I'm going to find them while I'm in Europe. I'm obsessed with them. I just had down to have lunch because we are starving and hot. It is like 33 degrees. Yeah. Is that what you had last time? I don't know. It's some sort of craft stuff. This place is so beautiful. Got some Spaghetti with mazzara, bread shrimp, and lemon. Got myself another Aperol. Just ordered lunch. <laughs> Look at their new rings. I think they you got French. Need to get I think we. I think we do need I to think get we them. All get them. Yeah. I'm not a color girl though, but it's really nah, cute. No, but you can't Honestly, even either, tell. Though. I just think this so could be our. This could be our. I forgot to film, but I got grilled squid, and it was so good. We just finished lunch. We're feeling slightly drunk. <laughs> it's so fucking hot here. Yeah. We're like, all like dehydrated, I reckon. Yeah. And we just drank alcohol I and drunk from one after all. Mm. And a limoncello <laughs> shot. We're about to get a postcard. We got a photo taken of us. And we're getting a postcard made. Which is really so nice. See it. We should even put that filter on it. I know. <laughs> we put a really nice filter on our photo. I'm sweaty. <gasps> Thank you. you oh my god. Mom? Guys, no, it's actually it's really actually cute. cute. Thank you so much. How do you La Camarel? La Camarel. La Capri. Girls, Capri. if you girls and boys, if you're listening to this, where are we going? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're oh, giving great. some recommendations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful place to come. It's in Capri. Beautiful. 
and you get a postcard, so that's a sleigh. Death <laughs> I know, like, like we just woke up downstairs in the, in the boat and like I was dripping in sweat and I thought I was gonna pass out. I can't even look like <laughs> I, I know, like, this is so bad. Like I've never felt so gross in my whole life. Um, no, this is a mouthy. We're the next stop. Wait, on the rooftop now. Hello! So I haven't vlogged in a while um, since yesterday when we went to Capri. Um, because I had a little bit of an incident on our way back. So where we're staying is like quite like chill and like not that busy. But we went to Capri yesterday for the day for like a day trip. And I was painting the picture for you. I just like want to be transparent on here because like obviously traveling comes with some challenges. Or like things go wrong or things happen. And anyway... So we went to Capri, got the ferry over from Amalfi, um, which was about like almost a two hour ferry, uh, which was fine. Like, And then we got to Capri at around 10.30 and as soon as we got there, it was mayhem. There was so many people there because you get off like the port and like you probably would have seen in my vlog like how many people were there, but you get off the port and then you have to get up to like the main bit because what we wanted to do was like go look at the shops and stuff like we we're just doing a day trip um so and then to get up there you can either like get a bus or get this i'm not sure what it's called but it's like a little like like you go in like a tram thing up the hill and it's like connected to, it's like a sky rail thing but really small i don't know there's, there's a word for it it's like a boulotel or something anyway i'm probably gonna butcher that but my if anyone's from Italy here, you can correct me in the comments. Okay. Yeah, so we had to get tickets for that to get up to the main part to go shopping because otherwise, I think you can walk, but like, also I forgot to say, it was a 35 degree day today, I mean yesterday. Um, it's really hot, Italy is so much hotter than Greece um, at the moment, or like we're finding, but yeah, it was a 35 degree day today and that was probably our first mistake doing this on a 35 degree day because we were like, oh yeah, it's a good day to like spend indoors, like shopping like in air conditioning and stuff but like all the in between is like it is so hot anyway so we had to go up the um little escalator thing i don't know what it's called um and there's so many people like it's like packed like you're waiting in a line to get up there like packed in the blistering sun and then getting up there it's like packed the things are like packed and like it was fine we got up there walked around had a look at shops like but like we were like sweating the whole time like, it was hot and then we went and got a beautiful lunch, which you guys would have saw. Like, it was insane. I think it's a La, La Camperelle. Um, I would, would have left it on the screen. Highly recommend if you go to Capri. The staff there was so beautiful. They, like, took a photo of us and, like, printed it out so we could, like, send it as a postcard. Like, they were just so, like, like so, so nice and so friendly, which, like, just felt really nice. And because the thing I've struggled with in Italy is like not feeling homesick but feeling a bit out of place. Um, in Greece I didn't really feel that. There was a lot of Aussies around, like all that kind of stuff. Haven't really found that many Aussies here, which is fine. Um, it's a much more authentic Italian like cultural experience, which I do love. Um, but I have like pretty bad, <laughs> I can get pretty anxious, like I have pretty bad anxiety. So like when things don't feel familiar or I don't feel like I have control of a situation, like I get quite anxious. We walked around for a bit more and then we had to get back down to the port to get our ferry home because there's only one ferry there, one ferry back to Amalfi in a day and you like get a return thing. So our ferry was at five. So we were there from 10 to five, like walking around like in the sun, like we weren't swimming or anything. And then, so as we were going back down, so when we bought the tickets to get up on that little like tram thing you had to like you had like a one that you had two tickets you have to put them in the thing like in sydney it reminds me of like when you used to like get on the bus like you have a bus pass or you have like a one single ticket it's like it's like a single ticket like it's and it can only be used once so you put it in the machine then like marks it off and like you can't put it in the machine again anyway so as i was coming back down i just had it like for starters the line to get back down like it was chaos like 
it was all like squish sardines like going back down to the main bit and to get on these things so luckily we left it like up there at like 3 30 to get back down in time because it was hectic and it's like in like a tunnel so it's so hot as i was like putting my thing in i just had this bad feeling that this was going to happen i don't know why when i got the tickets at the start i was like i need to throw out one of these tickets that i've used and keep the other one because i feel like i'm gonna like mix them up anyway i got to the thing the girls were gone through and i put my ticket in and was like no like you've already used this ticket so i had chucked out and i looked through my wallet i had chucked out the wrong ticket and i was like fuck like i i had this feeling that something like this was going to happen like i just like preempted it and then i was like to the lady like i i must have chucked out the wrong ticket like i'm so sorry blah blah, blah. and she was like no ticket in italian like obviously she was speaking italian she was like no pretty much saying no ticket no entry and like i had waited in this line for like an hour to get down and like to get another ticket i'd have to go back around buy it and line up again and our ferry was in like an hour and also all the girls had gone through so i would have been by myself anyway so i was like started to like stress and like and like i was like please like please like i'll give you money now like i'll like like i it was an honest mistake which it is my mistake but like i was like stressing as you can imagine and i was like all these people around me like you know going through like it's just so chaotic like i cannot even and i was like trying to like speak to her and like speak in italian and she was like no like she was not having it which is like fine but like i was just like oh my god i don't know what to do like i couldn't see the girls i didn't have reception on my phone and then um i was like ready to like walk back out and like i don't know walk down or something or like go get another ticket but i wouldn't have made the ferry so i was like i didn't know what to do i was like frantic and then like, i almost cried because i was like i don't know what to do like i'm I seriously don't know what to do. And then I heard one of the girls like, Abby, use this. And a random lady um, gave me a ticket, a spare ticket that she had to put in the machine. And I was so thankful. Like, that was, she literally saved my life. Like, that was so nice. And I went out to her, I was like, thank you so much. Like, she was so nice. And I was like, thank you so much. So I got in and, like, that was fine. Like, thank God for that. Like, and then we got down there, got to the ferry thing and, like, sat at the cafe and waited and like i think just like the whole like because we're just like the first time we like kind of like sat down and just like chilled like done nothing i think that's like i don't know like i just started to like get really anxious and i like kind of had a bit of a like an anxiety moment and i think just the whole day and like the heat and everything like i was just like i just felt so out of control out of place and like the thing that happened the bus thing or the i don't know i just like started to spiral and i called my sister it was like really late at night in australia but i called her and like she's good at talking me out of that stuff and my si and my mum my mum was asleep anyway called her and like had a bit of a moment and she like calmed me down it was fine so we got on the ferry and it was so hot like so hot and like we we're sitting inside and there's no air conditioning like the windows are open but there's no air conditioning and i was just like it was like a two hour ferry too like and i was already like pretty rattled from like just the day and and like what had happened before my little anxiety moment um so i was just like exhausted it got to like half an hour before we getting off and i like couldn't cope like i was like Felt like i was going to pass out like i was like i'm going i was like to the girls i was like i'm going to pass out like i'm going to pass out and i had to sam took me into the bathroom and like we had our heads out the window like of the bathroom like splashing water on our face from the sink and like there was a guy next to us in the, like the guy's bathroom next to us doing the same thing because it was just so hot i felt like i was in a sweat box like anyway and then like i also get really bad seasickness like in greece like i spoke about it like i got really bad seasickness and this was also making me really sick so it was just like a combination of things and like i had to like stand outside until we got off and as soon as we got off like i pretty much like collapsed like i couldn't get up like i couldn't move like i felt like i was going to pass out like i was like my body like i honestly don't know it felt like it was giving up on me like i could not move i couldn't get up I couldn't like do anything I couldn't eat I like was drinking water and just like I just felt like nothing was helping like I just felt like I was going to pass out like I was 
like I just stared at Sam in the eyes. I was like, I'm going to pass out. Like I'm scared. Like I was pretty scared because I just I felt so out of control of like physically my body and everything like that. And I just think it was a build up of everything in the day, like the heat, the seasickness, the anxiety, the chaos of like so many people in one spot. Like it is very overwhelming. That's one thing I will say, and it's one thing I didn't find in Greece. Um, but yeah, it was just a bad build up of a day. It took me like two hours to get home because we would like walk home from the ferry thing, but like I had to like regroup. I was like lying on like a pool chair. Like I took my feet in the water in the ocean, like nearly just went into my clothes just to like regroup. The girls were so good. Like shout out to Sam. Like she really helped me. She really mothered me through it. Cause like, I also couldn't call my family cause it was like 3 a.m. there and like no one was answering. So <laughs> I got home, had some like avocado toast like made some here and like went to bed and like I feel so much better today and but it was really scary to be honest like I I can think about it now not laugh about it definitely can't laugh about it but like I can you know see everything was gonna be okay but in the moment I was like freaking out and I like had never felt worse like honestly I was really scared and just being in a foreign country is just so scary like especially if something like that something bad is to happen like being sick or like whatever like you just don't like it's is scary like going to if I had to go to hospital or anything like that is just a bit frightening so anyway that was definitely obviously playing a part too I was probably overthinking to the bullshit and that was making it worse but yeah anyway I'm feeling better today I've taken it really easily we just went to the beach um and I am at home right now the girls actually went to Positano for the night to have dinner and like do that it is like a two hour like an hour ferry ride and then like a two hour bus ride back because the ferries don't run later and like I really wanted to go but like I just I think I just needed to regroup and like have a nighty and then just chill because I just don't think I could go through that again um or like and I didn't want to like put a depth on their like moods or anything like that so I just want to have a nighty in and recharge and then um we go to Nice in two days which I'm so excited about like I'm so excited um, I've, like it's been my like one I've most look forward to when planning this trip so I'm very excited about that yeah I'm just gonna chill for the rest of this Italy part I think um, but yeah Italy's been beautiful like we just chilled at the beach today and I was like this is amazing but yeah I just wanted to like I don't know how much of that I'll keep in but I just do want to say like obviously it is beautiful and like I'm having like enjoying it so much and traveling is amazing I'm loving it um, but Things like this do happen and it is very important to be safe and be around people that you trust and yeah I didn't feel like anyone on the street was helping me too like I was bawling my eyes out in the street um like because I was so scared of how I was feeling and like no one really stopped or helped or anything like that so I don't know it was a bit scary but anyway it's a new day um I'm gonna go I'm going to go walk into town now and um get some dinner and like have it back here and just chill not to put a dampener on the Italy vlog but thought I'd yeah Just tell you where i've been that's why i had to vlog today but yeah hi okay it's the next day is this like a oh my god a flash um and had a chill day today we woke up at 10 a.m like that is unheard of for me we must have all just so dead went and got a coffee in town and then came back chilled the girls are actually going to Sorrento for the afternoon slash night getting dinner there but I am going into Amalfi to see M um, and Geordie and that but mainly M um, who is my best friend um, and I don't know if I've mentioned on here before but she moved to the UK she's been my best friend since we we're like in year seven she moved to the UK in December um, with her partner so I saw her in Greece for the first time. I was with her in Greece for a couple nights. We crossed over and now we cross over. She's, she just got to Amalfi. She's here for one night. We leave tomorrow. So I'm going to see her, going to get dinner with her and a drink and a few of, um, and who she's traveling with, um, some other girls that I'm friends with. So I'm going to do that um, last night in Italy. And then we're heading to Nice tomorrow. I am so excited. Like it's the one place I'm just like so excited for. So, yeah, and we're like staying like right in the heart of Nice. Like, we're hiring a car, we're gonna go to Saint Tropez, I'm gonna do shopping. Like, I can't wait to shop. I haven't shopped at all. And like, there's stuff that I want. Like, I want to shop till I drop. I might even get rid of my suitcase and get a bigger one because, like, it's packed to the brim, but it's really small. Like, I could, I'm underweight, I think, when I go home, but I can't fit anything in 
in the suitcase that I have so I might just get a cheap big one and do some shopping go to Zara do some other stuff but yes this is my outfit this skirt I've worn to death I'm obsessed with it is from Hunter the label this top is from Princess Polly it's not actually a set but it kind of looks like it because it's both embroidered embroidered is that the word but yeah I just did my makeup here by myself gonna go down get the bus to the girls I will vlog it I'm gonna take my camera with me but yeah, you're all talking about your nuts. Get to the hair. It's our Hello. last night together before she's leaving forever. But I might go meet her in London and extend my trip. We'll see. But look at this beautiful valley. Look at our location. Beautiful ginger jaw with the Amalfi Square. Can like we get a tour? Yeah. <laughs> the beds in the hall. Yeah. Here we go. Absolutely. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. Grazie. Oh my god, yum. Thank you so much. Emily, use your Grazie, time. Grazie, thank you. Grazie. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, ladies, ladies, ladies. Hold Cheers. on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. let me get it. <laughs> Cheers. We have to go again. This is our first video. Yeah. So. I love the Italian They always give you free food to start with. Literally. Yeah, I love it. Wait, we just got a photo. And you cut out. <laughs> <laughs> Girls. It's just me and John. Wait, we look great. I oh. know. Uh, is there any more? Oh, <laughs> There's like one more that's just. <laughs> <laughs> he literally just said it. no. <laughs> I was like, it's like more. My second cup. I got a daiquiri. Are we cheering? Mm. Cheering or cheesy? Hang out. This reminds me of Hawaii. Margarita. I give it two margaritas. I'm gonna give it some money. <laughs> cheesy Lee. Ciao. Ciao. A taxi straight to um, Music on the Rocks. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And then the, day, no. so, no. the no. next thing, the next thing is Jordi at uh, Music on the Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Give me five margaritas. Oh, Look <laughs> at that! Oh my goodness! It's probably the best meal I'm gonna have. We go. We've got some pasta. I'm so excited. We've got gelato for our last night in Italy. We've got dark chocolate. What do you got? Uh, you know. You know. What do you got, Jordi? Caramello. I tried oh, Bueno, but they have gluten-free cones. That's all I've wanted while in Italy. Is gluten-free cones. Yeah, that's so good. Mm. It's very dark. They really cater for you, don't they? Mm. I'm in the south of France, which means Italy vlogs over. And <laughs> I'm staring at Sophie, and she's naked on the other side. <laughs> but you guys can't see it. <laughs> um, we're so happy to be here. The vibes are high here. I'm gonna love it. I just know it. But yeah. Um, I'll see you in my South of France vlog. I hope you enjoyed this Italy vlog.